Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. Today on General Hospital, Finn tries everything to get Violet back. Carney turns to Brennan for help and Sonny finally has enough of Ava. All products and services featured are independently chosen by editors. However, Soaps.com may receive a commission on orders placed through its retail links and the retailer may receive certain auditable data for accounting purposes. All products and services featured are independently chosen by editors. However, Soaps.com may receive a commission on orders placed through its retail links and the retailer may receive certain auditable data for accounting purposes. All products and services featured are independently chosen by editors. However, Soaps.com may receive a commission on orders placed through its retail links and the retailer may receive certain auditable data for accounting purposes. Jason sitting in his car, looking nervous as he watches something, then makes a call to Spinelli's phone. Maxi answers and says Spinelli's playing with the kids, but Jason wants Maxi to call Anna to check in and see if she picks up. He won't tell her anything but that. Anna's in bed with Valentin, watching him while he sleeps when her phone buzzes. She answers, whispering, wanting to know why Maxi is checking on her. She passes Jason's message along, but as Anna says she's fine, Valentin gets up, tosses the phone and starts kissing her. He asks if he was dreaming or last night happened. It did, and she's happy to be with him, but she can't spend the day. He asks her to stay and he'll make breakfast, then they start kissing again. Maxi calls back and tells him Anna is fine then starts barraging him with questions only for Jason to get a text from Anna causing him to hang up. She's fine and he needs to go before V spots him. Downstairs, Anna's going through the living room and hears a clang in the kitchen. She asks if Valentin needs help as she rifles through his stuff and finds a satellite phone hidden in his books. She puts it back as Valentin comes in with breakfast. She's taken aback though when he says he'd like to spend the rest of his life trying to impress her. She wants to and loves him, but their lives don't fit. It's impossible for her to imagine a life together after what she did for Charlotte. Impossible in poor Charles, but maybe not elsewhere, he responds. He could have left at any time, but he didn't because of her. He can't give up on them getting back together. He asks her to at least consider the possibility.